good evening, Basel fans. Welcome here to the FIBA Basel World Cup of 2023 as we get set here at the Aranet Arena. Stage is set, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to welcome you yet again to the Aronets Arena 45 years ago. This arena was the host venue in which the former Yugoslavia were crowned champions of the 1978 FIBA World Cup. Now officially game time, as we mentioned, live here at one of the three venues of the three host countries. Serbia will be taking on China. The 2023 FIBA World Cup was also hosted in Indonesia and in Japan and Okinawa. But right now it's all about China as they get set to take on Serbia. Well, hello everybody. I'm your commentator, Josh Ben, alongside head coach of the Austin Spurs, World Void. Coach, coming into this game, Sasha Jordovic, head coach of this Chinese national team. There's got to be something that he has an edge against Serbia. Well, you know, for sure, he's, uh, I'm sure, eager to pull off the upset tonight. They had a friendly match uh, not too long ago, which, which didn't go their way, but he's obviously very familiar with this Serbia side. Well, some of the Chinese players coming out you can see there's Hong Zhou, the captain of China, was with us at the pre-World Cup press conference. But the key talking by for this Chinese national team is going to be former Houston Rockets player Zhou Qi, the big man. Yeah, absolutely. Zhou Qi, uh, you know, brings a different look to teams with his length and size at the rim as a protector, able to step outside and knock down a three when given the opportunity as well. Well, Chinese basketball was dominated for so many years by a legend who's actually sat right behind us in Yao Ming and for many years led by Yi Chen Lian. But now it is the Zhou Qi era. And of course, the man at the head of this Chinese national team is none other than the great Alexander or Sasha Georgievich. Well, Chinese fans really have rocked into the arena here this evening. They are ready to make this an intense atmosphere. But if they're going to help the national team out, They've got to be able to stop that man's former team. There is their first ever naturalized player, Lee kai -R, currently with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And what a big moment it is for Chinese basketball. But now we look at Serbia. I mean, when you look at this team, there are some superstars. The likes of Malutinov playing for Olympiakos, not to mention Bogdan Bogdanovic. Did play for the Sacramento Kings, but as a recent, has been a key player, averaging 14 points per game with the Atlanta Hawks. Yeah, you know, both of those guys, star players, Malutinov, the former Spurs, actually, first round draft pick. Uh, and it's really emerged as a, a go-to low post score for this team. And of course, Bogdan Bogdanovic, you know, capable of heating up with the best of them. You know, lead scorer, playing for the Atlanta Hawks, and of course, leading his team here at the World Cup. Well, another key name you will look out for is the future of Serbian basketball. Nikola Jovic, currently playing with the Miami Heat, and no doubt, of course, Eric Spolstra, who's probably only about an hour away from us right now, will definitely be watching this game. No question. Uh, you know, the, the, the talented 20-year-old brings an inside-outside presence. His mobility, ability to create and knock down the three is really a, a, a unique offensive weapon for them. Well, the final player to come out for, there you can see the big man, Malutinov, currently with Olympiakos, making it to the final of the EuroLeague, losing to Real Madrid in Kaunas. Well, these Serbian players, coached by a legend, Pesic, 
who was a champion of the FIBA World Cup in 2002, leading Yugoslavia to the victory over Manu Ginobili, Luis Scola's Argentina. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, Puerto Rico lost, well, they came victorious, excuse me, winning 101 to 96 against South Sudan, which truly was the thriller in Manila today. The question will be, how will this game go? We will kindly ask you to pay homage and respect as we stand for the national anthems of Serbia and China. National anthems of two view. very beautiful countries of China and Serbia have been sung, and now the players will shake arms, pay each other homage. We are set to introduce our three referees for tonight's game. Well, we are very proud to say that we have some of the finest officials in world basketball. They've done an excellent job in all of our competitions, and they'll continue to do so here tonight for the opening game for these two teams in Group B of the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Our referees are coming from France, Latvia, and Lebanon. We have Raba, Nujaim, Martin, Kozlovskis, and Johan Rosso, again from France, Latvia, and Lebanon. Now it's time to take a look at the starting lineups of these two teams. And there is coach Sasha Georgievich. Now, coach, you remember four years ago, your opening game was against him when he was coaching Serbia. Yeah, you know, that Serbian team was a juggernaut. Uh, obviously a different group this go around, but uh, opportunity for some of these younger players Jovic being one of them to, to really step forward and fill those gaps. Well, there is Lee Kaya, Charlie with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Late addition for the Chinese national team heading into this FIBA World Cup. But definitely, they needed him to be in the lineup because one thing that they have struggled with, as we have seen in the FIBA Asia Cups, qualifies. Size has always been an issue for China in recent years. Well, it's a huge addition. Uh, it, you know, in the past, it's been hard to naturalize a player because they would have to give up their passports. So the addition of Lee Kyar, Ky Kyle Anderson, as we know him in the U.S., I think it's big. But, you know, not so much of his size at the wing spot, but more his playmaking ability. China's always been able to, to bring shooting and size to the table, but what they've often lacked at this stage is that elite playmaker. Well, just averaging short of a double-double in the NBA with 9.4 points, some up at 5.3 now. Yeah, we saw his teammate Carl Anthony Towns play last night, but he is going to have to be monumental. Well, he's going to play with Joe Chi, but Zhang Jolin is going to be one of their key players. So Lee Kaya definitely has quite a few options to play with. But there is the big man, Wang Dong Southern Tigers in the Chinese Basketball Association, averaging a double-double. 
within the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. Now, they started their campaign off with two emphatic victories against Japan. That was back in November of 2022. It's almost like since that FIFA World Cup in China, you know, he's done a world of good for himself by playing in Austria's and uh, Australia's NBL, excuse me. But there is the man, as you mentioned, the former coach of Serbia, one of the greats in Serbian basketball history, played with greats such as Vladi Divac, not to mention the likes of Pedrag Stojakovic. But now he's got to play against his old players. And now, when we look at teammates such as Malutinov and Bogdan Bogdanovic, I mean, you're like a kid in the candy store. What can you expect from those guys? Yeah, I mean, obviously, those are two quality players right there. Coach Pesic uh, having a number of guys he can call upon to deliver. So there's a good mix of uh, experience and young players on this team. Some of those young guys looking to step up here at this World Cup. Well, Nikola Jovic, Bogdan Bogdanovic, Dobritz, Stefan Jovic, and Nikola Malutinov will all be in the starting five for the Serbian team. Well, Malutinov is going to have to fill that big, big gap inside for the Serbians. Likes of Goodrich will be coming off the bench along with Petrushev. But they are coached by one of the greatest coaches in the history of international basketball. Well, there you can see Boggy last season played 54 games for the Atlanta Hawks. Well, he's a sniper. That's what you can think about it. I mean, he is a solid three-point shooter. Yeah, there's no question about it. Uh, you know, and at this level, too, he's got a craftiness about him. Not only can he knock down the threes, but he can find a way to get to the rim, find easy points from the free throw line. Nikola Milutinov did feature for the Serbian national team in a few of their World Cup qualifying games. They averaged 13.3 points per game. Remember, they had to go to the very final window to ensure they qualified. Their final game was against Great Britain. There was not too much issue for the Serbians. Milutinov, one of the greatest bigs you'll find in Europe, as we mentioned, playing in Greece in the mighty Athens, Periaslo Olympiakos. But there is one of the legend. 21 years ago, he coached Vladi Divac, Pedro Stojakovic, Marko Jaric, they defeated the United States of America in the quarterfinals in Indianapolis, and they held the trophy, the championship Naismith trophy, in the final against Argentina. It doesn't get any bigger of experience than this man. Yeah, no question. And let's not forget, too, when he led Germany to the Eurobasket Championship in 93, when they were hosting. Uh, an incredible coach with an incredible resume. Well, Georgievich's team are going to be successful tonight. They're going to need at least 20 to 30 points from both Kyle Anderson and Kyra, as we call him now here at the FIBA World Cup. Uh, of course, from Joe Chi, but it's going to be easier said than done against Serbia, one of the greatest European and world basketball teams of all time. 16 times FIBA Asia Cup champions. That is a record. Which I'm sure many of the Philippine fans, you know, having a bit of history with FIBA Asian Cup in the early days, will look at that and think that's something that they aspire to achieve. Of course, watching China over the years, what do you think is the biggest asset of this Chinese national team? Well, you know, they always have shooting. Uh, you know, their wings are obviously large, uh, but they drill and drill shooting from a young age. So, so many capable wing shooters. The question is, can they get looks for them? Fifth consecutive FIBA World Cup appearance here for Serbia. Remember, they made the final in 2014 in Spain, where they lost to Stephen Curry, which we all know how great the greatest shooter of all time is. Well, the official to so countdown to tip-off is underway. We're one minute away from this party getting started. South Sudan falling to Puerto Rico in the opening game of Group B here earlier today. The question will be, who will be rubbing shoulders with Puerto Rico? Will it be Serbia or will it be China? Give it to the middle post and then play low high low. Go. Continuation. Hey. Well, players now getting the final instructions from both the coaches. Well, this is the beauty. This is the 19th edition of International Basketball's highest competition, the 2023 FIBA World Cup, which is hosted here in the Philippines at the Mall of Asia Arena, Araneta, Philippine Arena as of yesterday, but also in Okinawa, Japan, and in Jakarta, Indonesia. Go back to that game, of course. That was your opening game in the 2019 FIBA World Cup. When you're up against a great like Serbia, what do you think was the key mindset for your players trying to prepare for that game? Well, you know, that Serbian team uh, had steamrolled everybody uh, leading up to that competition. So uh, we knew we had a monumental task ahead of us. 
us, unfortunately for us, they came out. Lead hit six of their first seven threes. Bogdanovich hitting three of those. So not the start that we wanted, but that, that was a, a pretty special Serbian team that went up against. Well, Joe Chi is going to jump this one with Nikola Milutinov. Robert Skarn on the floor is probably going to match up with Joe Peng. It's a very big lineup both these two teams have. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. China are taking on Serbia. Robert's getting a little penetration and got it by Joe Payne, the captain of China. He's getting a hand up. This is the play that Serbia want to get going from Bogdan Bogdanovic. Sorry, right now trying to attack. He was up in the corner, no good. John Jillian gets a rebound. Yeah, great defensive stop there. Uh, Good way to start the game here for China. Retired demanding the ball screen from Joe Payne. They want to get the switch on defense to feed the big man. Still China's offense can sometimes struggle here against the Soviet defense. And Joe Chi goes to the mid-range and gets stepped up big time with the confidence. Yeah, China punishing that switch here. Lucas penetrates the boss. He goes in the lane. Can't get it. China getting another rebound. The energy from these Chinese fans. Likaya trying to go to John Joe Lin. Finds a bit of time and space, puts a three up. Three is up, and it's good. Well, he's going to go to the free throw line for the four point play. John Joe Lin just found a small little opening there. And can China playing off the back of the confidence they're getting from the whole crowd? But to this young man. Yeah, big shot there from Zhang Jin Lin, uh, you know, former two-lane player, uh, big-time shooter, though. That's what he does. You know, the narrative from this game, Pesic, one of the greatest coaches in the history of Serbia, up against the man, his countryman, who did coach his team. He definitely fell short of expectations in 2019. He's not trying to fight here. Joe Payne coming in for the double team. He's up first baseline and throws it down early on. No mercy for the Chinese help side defense. Yeah, great patience there. You know, they came with the early baseline trap, waited for it to leave before finishing. Jaure now coming on the ball. Through the Chinese backcourt, can't afford is to lose their confidence. John Jolin, another step back three points, way off the mark. Now Serbia can look to push this one. But Davids going baseline, kicks out, finds Jovic. Jovic for the three, and easy, tucks that one away. Great kick out there from Bogdanovich. Serbia's defense might be very intimidating, but China have to face up to it. Oh, now look for penetration. Joe Payne goes for three. Three is no good. And he talks about China living the dime from the perimeter, but again, if it's not dropping, they have to find other ways to score. He cannot go for mid range. Again, it's too easy right now for Serbia going everywhere they want on the floor. Lutinov finding that little seam there for his mid-range pull-up. China going to a horns offense, double high screen. They're trying to find ways to get something going. And John Dillon, he's made one three, makes another one. He's two for three for the perimeter of the home crowd. I, I say the home crowd, but the majority of fans in this arena, they love that. Trying to be aggressive with Nikola Jovic. It's not kicks out. That's the isolation they want with the big man. A good defense. No foul call now. We tried to push this. Trying to go for the Euro step. Not get it. They're going to call an offensive foul on Joe Chi. Well, coach, what do you think? Yeah, tough call there, but interesting uh, the way they're starting the game. So, you know, they went with a bigger lineup. Jowry playing the point. This has been different than what they've done in their tune up games. And then if you watch their pick and roll coverages against Jovic, they're they're bumping and under. So, you know, in that last play, Joe Pang is pushing that screen so that the on-ball defender can slide underneath it. Chinese fans trying to Jayo right now, trying to support the team on as Jung Jilin gets a rebound. China leading by two. 
Tyon now looking for an opening. Kicks out. Look straight soft again with a bull screen. Chi coming up for the pick. Hesitates, kicks out again. He's made two threes. Fades away in the court. It's way off the mark. Transition defense needs to be a key factor. So be going in. He's not trying to the follow up, but gets rejected. Well, what a block shot. Joe Chi. The buggy left in the corner. Three is up. Three is good. Yeah, he's got to grab that loose ball. That's tough. Uh, China thinking about the fast break before controlling the rebound. A great recovery by the Serbian players. Davidson hitting the big three pointer. Tries a back door, goes up, and again throws it down. Well, big time play by Chung Cho Lin. He's got eight points so far, leading the Chinese players. China with a one point lead. Well, he made one through in the corner earlier. It's a front iron. Zhou Chi with a rebound. China can try to go to the half court set. Joe Peng, the captain, can shoot the three pointer. We did see him take a lot of threes in the FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers. Two seconds now. That's going to be a long two by John Joe Lin. Can't get it. In. Well, Lin, Davis going behind the back, counted, and he's going to go to the free throw line here for the three-point play. Jovic going a little bit of coast to coast on that one. I mean, look at this. Goes behind the back. That's what you like to say, Havala huh? Aleppo. Thank you very much. Yeah, and Coach Georgievich obviously upset. Their uh, corner shooters have got to do a better job of getting out and getting back. That's been uh, the last two times where they've been slow to, to get back in transition. The game right now. Wu Ming Xuan, number three for China, is going to play point guard duties for them. Well, as we've seen before in the 2019 FIBA World Cup qualifiers, actually he plays a two guard, which I think he will go because they've also got Zhao Ti Wei into the game, who actually is a point guard. But again, they're going to have to try and make sure to deal with the pressure in the backcourt. Yeah, both of these guys shifty ball handlers, so you'll you'll see both of them handle it quite a bit. Carrying on the bench right now for China. It's just to see how he orchestrates their offense without him. Big Mac gets nutmeg. Serbia with a chance to extend the lead. Jovic all the way. Pass up against a beautiful transition by the Serbians. You can see the look from Sasha Georgievich. I think he knows all too well how good his whole team was. But another turnover. Lutinov goes in the lane. Eurostep goes up. Just the Yam one. The go to the free throw line yet again. Yeah, you know, these, these easy transition opportunities, whether it's from the turnovers or from the poor floor balance, uh, just Serbia's too good a team to give them opportunities like that. China's got to be disciplined, make the play in a half court. What's interesting is you take Joe Chi out of the game, it's almost like even though he's a big, but you can count him being out there because he's used to dealing with this kind of pressure. And he played in Australia's NBL, of course. It's off, makes the first free throw. I'm seeing the local Filipino fans supporting Serbia right now. No love lost there between those two nations. The two nations, a rivalry based on basketball with respect and admiration, of course. China being the most successful team in the history of FIBA Asia Cup basketball, as we said, 16 championships. Now Lee Tyar comes out of the game. Yeah, interesting. China started the game big, now going small here with this group. Backdoor dunk by John Jolin, throwing it down with a bit of authority. For the Chinese national team. You said it, coach. They really do live and die by the perimeter. Another by Bogdanovich. Doesn't get it. Joe Pang secures the rebound. Push this one. Oh, yeah, going to slow this down. Do you sometimes feel trying to take a little bit too long to get into the sets? Well, you know, I think there's a balance, right? They, they want to keep this pace slow. 
Uh, if they don't have opportunities in transition, I think we'll see a lot of that with you know, Coach Shortsfish trying to control what they're running in the half court. Definitely they're gonna have to try and conserve the energy of those two players, but they really need Lee Kaya and Joe Chi on the floor. Well, I think it's interesting that he's gone to his bench so early in the game. So, you know, obviously he's trusting the players he's putting on the floor here and uh, seeing how they perform. Just over three minutes in the first quarter. It's up to the middle of this. Texas one. Can't get it. He's not battling for offensive rebounds, but nobody else going in with him. Texas and Chinese players defensively. They are trying to keep Serbia off the second chances. Just avoiding the eight-second violation. That's going to be called. It's going to be the second team foul against Serbia. China have no more team fouls to give themselves. So he was very lucky because it just looked like there was 16 on the on the shot clock before he got the ball over the halfway line. Yeah, definitely close to a uh, eight second count there. Trying to go for the back to a cup, they turn it over. Has been committed, that's two fouls. Well, Danny Mitchell will go to the free throw line. Those are the turnovers that are really biting them. Coach Georgievich understanding that for them to pull up the in here, they've got to take control, take good care of the ball. Only four turnovers for China in the first quarter. Danny Mitchell to the free throw line. He made a name for himself. Days in the year league playing for Fenabachi, but also sent it to life in the NBA where he's due to the leadership of Vladi Dibash and Pedro Stojakovic. He finds himself a new home in Atlanta. Definitely a fan favorite all over the NBA. Yeah, a dynamic player. Obviously, on the international level, has been uh, playing at a, a very high level for a long time. Way down, just dealing with the full court pressure. Can he get something here in the offense for China? It's a defense now, look for an opening. Six seconds here on the shot clock. China, time winding down. It's a tough one in the shot clock. That's not a good shot for China. So they're going to extend their lead. Just under two and a half here in the first quarter. On the layup, and that's way too easy. No help side defense. Set already, Sergei Djordovic really going through his entire bench in this game. Needs a little bit of leadership in that. Lee Kaya is going to check back in. That's way off the mark at the moment. No structure here in China's offense. Just kicks this one out. Serbia, going for another three transition, and it's good. They are flying with confidence now. Five point lead to Serbia, and China call timeout. Again, the lack of discipline, whether it's turnovers or the poor shot, is leading to wide open three opportunities for Serbia. That's interesting because, you know, these five they started with, they're starting to play a little bit positive. You know, a good start for the perimeter. It's interesting that he changed it up four minutes ago in the first quarter. Yeah, I, I was surprised at that. I thought, I thought that group had played well. Um, Let's use the big man. Let's receive the ball before you go for it. Receive to best. Receive for some pass. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Rebound and back. Abraham is down. Let Dendi. Hard work, hard work, hard work. Don't switch. Don't switch. 
So, going back to what we just talked about before that timeout, do you think maybe he's made that change here in the first quarter to try and get his team a little bit of experience to play against such a high caliber opponent? Uh, I, I think there's a strong chance of that. You know, Serbia, obviously the favorites in this group. Coach Georgievich might be thinking ahead to the games that, that come after this. So trying to get some of these younger players who haven't gotten experience at the World Cup level, some early looks, uh, hoping that that pays dividends down the stretch later in the group. John Dillon, eight points so far, leading score for China, back in the game. Up. Good look, can't get it. Goes out of bounds, but that will China ball. 129 to go here in the first quarter. It's a good offense there. Wide open look. Yeah, it looks like Serbia got a little lost there. They've been switching one through five. Somebody missed an assignment on that one. Ten on the shot clock now for China. Big man, another kick out. Fire's got to shoot this one. It's up, way up the mark. It's going to be a 24 second violation. Great defense by Serbia. Yeah, and you know, I think, uh, I think Kyle Anderson's a, you know, obviously a little embarrassed by that one, but uh, that's a look that they want. I mean, he ended up with a, a wide open corner three. I just think, you know, coming back into the game is a little cold, but I think China's going to be happy when you get the shots like that. So we're looking to go to a double digit lead. The triple handoffs. Full screen now, Gooderich. Kick out finding Abramovic. Goes down the road. Goes up. There's a contact. That's with the ab one. He'll go to the charity strike. And that's what makes Jovic such a dynamic player. Able to put it on the deck either direction to knock that three down so you have to respect it on the closeout. Sasha Georgievich getting ready to make another change. Check me out, he's number 14, Wang Zhilin. Now Zhou Chi comes in. Oh, but this man, you know what's interesting about this man? Not only does he have a similar name to Nikola Jokic, he's got the same college development player, Mega Baskets. Country in the 2023 FIBA Basketball Cup. Now for isolation. The lane goes over a jump, but can't get it. He has to find ways to score in this game, otherwise, it's going to be a very tough game for China. So, we're looking for the handoffs. Seconds now between the game and shot clock. Goes down the middle. Kicks out to Gooderich. Gooderich is going to be called for a travel violation. And a bit of a cheer there from the Chinese fans in the arena. They've, they've needed something positive. Hopefully can get a good quality shot here and end this quarter on high note. Another 10 seconds here in the first quarter. China can get the last shot here. And then Serbia get any chance with the ball back. And then force up a homer shot. That's no good. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter, Serbia have a double-digit lead, 25 to 14, against China in their opening game. Will be up in the 2023 FIBA Basketball Cup. Well, coach, you know what do China have right now have to change about their offense to try and get something going better? Well, you know they have to be more disciplined. So you know the, the bad shots, the turnovers, those, those are leading to runouts for Serbia. And so whether it's playing more through Kyle Anderson. Uh, you know, they found a little bit of a rhythm early in the game. Uh, but they have to make sure every possession ends with a quality shot. Well, China 3 for 11 for the perimeter. Only 2 for 5 for inside the rainbow. Well, Serbia slowly but surely getting themselves in this game. Finding their rhythm. Here are some of the key plays for the first quarter. And they're going 
to Joe G inside the paint. All of a sudden, Serbia were looking a little bit vulnerable on the defensive end. With John Jolin hitting some big three pointers. Eight points he had in the first few minutes. And look at this from Malutina. Spinning out baseline, throwing it down with no regard. And then the perimeter shooting started with Stefan Jovic. Jovic as well. Trying to penetration. But Malutinov, I mean, he is probably one of the best post players we have here in the FIBA World Cup. Yeah, no question. Uh, he had a great qualification uh, series for these guys. Continues his fine play here at the World Cup. Well, there was the backdoor play. Wang Shang Hao. Good night, China. That's a big time play by Chuck Chilin. Well, there is the QR code for courtside 1891 so that you can get all the best live stream schedules and scores brought to you by FIBA. Download it now on your smartphone. This is the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. It's brought to you live by courtside 1891. China needs to use the emotion from this home crowd, but at the same time, the home crowd's got to keep cheering for them. If they can be that sixth player on the court and try to keep this within single digits going into the second half, maybe there will be a glimmer of hope. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised I haven't seen them play through the post a little bit more. Serbia's been switching a little. I think they can find some post mis mismatches there. You know, maybe try to play through Jochi here. Quick foul is going to be called against Serbia's number 23, Michael Kuric. Another player who played for Serbia in 2019 FIBA World Cup. Locked that stint in China. Trying to make his trade in the NBA with the Memphis Grizzlies. Trying to get in the first possession of the second quarter. He had a wide open look. They go for another three. Three is up again. The fourth three point of the game for China. Keeps them in the game, coach. They got to keep going to it. I mean, they definitely have shooters, so. Serbia still leading by eight points. Gooderich, three in the corner. Three is good. Oh, no, that's a two pointer. Just inside the rainbow. John Chilin helping out the backcourt players with Jao Ray. Something here from Lee Kai. He's going to be a little bit more aggressive on the offense. It's a handoff. Looking for a post up. Two pump fakes. Kicks out. Jaure made one three. Just look at this one. This time by Joe Chi. Now Serbia looking to push. And he's trying to go baseline. The post up now goes around Joe Chi, but again, somehow just rolls its way into the basket. That's a tough post move by Petrushev. Yeah, the skilled big man uh, playing his Gonzaga. Days to work there. We're looking for a back door. Joe Chi catches the ball near the halfway line. Back to a play again. Goes up. And that's much better. Second assist coming from Joe Chi. Serbia, quick transition. Three is up. No good. And offensive rebounds. Petrushev goes up. Yeah, one. But we'll go back to the free throw line. Yes, yeah, the transition defense continuing to to hurt China here. They, they have that better floor balance after the shots that they're taking. Even this one, you know, quality backdoor play here. But then after the make, they're not back and set defensively. Well, that's the thing with a team like Serbia. If you make mistakes, they'll make you pay. But if you get things right in that case, they still might make you pay. Yeah, no, there's no question this is a great Serbian team. But, but China's got to know, you know, to have a chance at the upset, you just have to be so disciplined in what you do offensively. So whatever your sets are, knowing who those guys are, they have to be back to slow them down. True Chef makes it two for two for the charity stripe, the former Gonzaga Bulldog. It's quite interesting to think about the amount of international players that have gone to Gonzaga. You know, the case, Rui Hachimura being another one of them. 12 points of separation. Get a post up here with Joe Chi. Joe Payne now. Spinning around. Beautiful move. Goes up with it. The follow up by Joe Chi. That's much better for China. And you see them finally starting to look to the post a little bit. Uh, you know, hopefully they go to that more. 
Still a 10 point lead to Serbia. Vidic going for a handoff. There's another deep three. Three is up. Way off the mark. But he got lucky there because Serbia should have had an offensive rebound. Jung Jo Lin. That's Joe Peng, who's made one three himself. And you can see Sasha Georgievich saying to Jung Jo Lin, feed Joe Chi in the post. Jung Jo Lin bumps. No foul pulls. Three on two scenario. Petrushev down the middle, goes up and finishes that one with ease. Yeah, amazingly skilled player there, gets the rebound, goes coast to coast on his own. Well, Joe Chi's got to post up. He's got to want the ball right now because at the moment, it's too easy here for the Serbian defenders. Oh, that right there comes fast break points for Serbia. Zero for China at the moment. Yeah, and that's obviously the story of this half. Serbia able to get out and run. A lot of that due to China's poor offensive execution. Changes made by both teams. Mesic, one of the greatest coaches in the history of world basketball. And Joe Chi wasn't ready for it. He's executed perfectly. Petrushev down the lane, goes up. This a layup, but a foul's going to be pulled. And two more free throws coming up for Philip Petrushev. Petrushev County holding on to his ankle wide open. He's okay, that's not too serious. You hate to see that when, when there's not contact. I almost feel like that happened on the takeoff. You, know, you get worried about uh, Achilles or calf pulls on plays like that. Joe dropping the basket. Let's have a look at the replay. Watch Petrushev hit. Oh, he definitely twists his ankle. That looks painful. I mean, he rolled that fully. He's still up and he's about to shoot the free throws. Yeah, and you know, we forget too, the big guys, when they come down like that, they're, they're coming down with more weight. So oftentimes those injuries are, are more severe. So let's, let's hope he's going to be OK here. Philip Petrushev. To a big role with the Serbian national team. So makes the first one. With 6.48 to go here in the second quarter. They have to do their best to try and get this down to 10 points or even lower. And at the moment, zero fast break points. So the problems that have been built up here for the Chinese national team. I think they also have to find a way to get Lee Kayar involved. Uh, he's been a little bit passive. Obviously, Serbia has made, made him a focal point, but. Maybe putting him on the ball directly. Well, he makes a bit of contact with a follow-up by Joe Chi. Second time lucky. And that's what the big man has to do. But again, good transition there from China. Yeah, I mean, finding ways to get Joe Chi the ball, you know, if he has to go and get it off the glass himself, then and that's the way to do it. This is in the lay now. Yeah, easy lay up there from Serbia. He hey, comes yeah, to the basket. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's going to be able to play much longer because his ankle clearly a lot of agony. This is going to be quite a bit of concern here to coach Svetislav Pejic. Well, Pejic just used my, my apologies. I mean, as a coach, you got to think, ankle injuries usually are very, very bad, especially when you're in the tournament. There's not much time to recover. No, that's it. You know, certainly, I don't, I don't think they want him to push through during this game. Uh, hopefully, it's not too severe. A good recovery by Joe Pang off the time of turnover from who? To take care of the basketball. As we fire the basketball, Kenny misses a wide open layup. A bit of anxiety getting in the way of Malik Kayar. Has to be committed. Utenov just sends the position under the basket against Malik Kayar. Yeah, and even there, you know, it doesn't go in the books. It's transition points, but it's another example of Serbia because they're pushing the pace, finding these mismatches, and punishing China. Davidovac trying on the ball, look for a handoff. Serbia leading by 14. 
Novak's he got ball on the floor and he's turned it over, but he, you know, he's the first one to dive on the floor for it. Well, that's got to say something right there, Coach. Well, you know, playing for uh, Coach Pesic, I think I'd be more afraid not to dive on the, on the loose ball. <laughs> But the same can be said about Coach Georgievich. I mean, you know, it's it's sort of the, the veteran coach versus the coach who's currently in his prime. I mean, both coaches so passionate, very fire. But look at this right here. David Dobat's dropped. He's the first one to dive on it. you got to think that's not acceptable. Yeah, no question. Uh, you know, credit to him for, for being first to the floor. And, you know, that's, that's the Serbian mentality, you know, for sure. Playing hard, playing with intensity is uh, always their mantra. 2.2 seconds left. Handoff. Brandovich, deep three, takes it. Doesn't get it. Joe Chi secures a rebound. China taking their time to get into their sets. Try now. It's not possible. Joe Pang. Again, Serbia just running after everything. Wanting this game a little bit more. Takes a pass. So one, two, takes another three point. Punishes China. And at the moment. Sasha Georgievich infuriated with his players. 17 point deficit. Serbia are cruising at the moment. Well, there's a three pointer yet again from Goodrich. Well, let's go and listen now to what Sasha Georgievich has to say to his players in this timeout. Side 1891 that brings you the FIBA Basel World Cup, the official platform of FIBA's media partner. They the best streams, scores, and schedules. And all the best action in 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. Chinese fans and Serbian fans coming into the building, loving the occasion, of course. Of course, earlier today we saw the fans of South Sudan. I mean, they were phenomenal. Yeah, no question. They've uh, they've really embraced that team. Obviously excited to see them here uh, on the World Cup stage for the first time. Well, China now trailing by 17. Need to find some identity in their offense. Joe Peng having to bring the ball up. Trying to avoid the eight-second violation. Does just that. It's a problem with China's backcourt. They're a little bit intimidated by the Serbian defenders. Nikaya now. Trying to go. Gets rejected. Well, Boggy Bogdanovic just said, not in my house. Oh, show the replay. Bogdanovic, as they say in Serbian, says, Dovigenia, goodbye. Get that out of here, please. Yeah, great play there from Bogdanovic. The pressure of Serbia really getting to China here. Joe Chi off the lob, that's much better, but it can't coach. They've got to feed the big man every time. No question, nice out of bounds set there with the cross screen, but uh, it's one of their few advantages. So, you know, finding ways to get it into the post, at least playing out of it. Eight points now for Joe Chi, playing for the Guangdong Southern Tigers. This good guy by Zhao Chi Wei. Looks down the middle, kicks this one out. No best to play again. Serbia come out like a house on fire right now. Beautiful ball movement there and that, that possession. Everybody coming into the game and having an impact right now for Serbia. With a bit of time and space. Nice. There's a big time dunk, and again, I think they heard what I said. Keep feeding Joe Chi. Well, that's a great pass from Joe Pung there. Uh, able to draw the big off of, off of his penetration. Well, again, if they keep getting the big man involved, that's going to be a part of their identity right here. Sends this one off, and Joe Chi just says, Xie Xie Ni Wada Peng Yo, and he throws that one down. He's got to be aggressive, and China are going to have a point to prove here tonight. Jokic go, oh, Jokic, excuse me, goes in. It's just too easy, coach. 
Yeah, you know, that's just a basic pick to picker action. You hate to see the back door uh, be open on the first screen. Moving Schwang here in the back court. She will be defended by Balutsinov. Now we're in the 10 here on the shot clock. The space not right right now, but Joe Payne tries another three pointer, and that's way off the mark. That has been the story of the second quarter so far for China. Yeah, just looking a little discombobulated, and you know, again, uh, seeing that that easy backdoor for Serbia there. But China has got to find an identity on, on the offensive end. You know, Lee Kayar has not really been involved a whole lot. Not a ton of post touches to Jochi. Where are they going to go to find their offense right now? In the three and a half here in the first half. Serbia right now control the tempo of this game. Well, down is going for a post up, got it by Zhang Zilin. Going to go here, has to take a tough fadeaway, not get it. But again, you look at Serbia, they are just so hungry right now. Yeah, there's an intensity that Serbia is going to bring to every game. Uh, and China has to know that, certainly with Coach Djordjevic uh, uh, instructing them that you know they're, they're going to have to rise to the occasion here. Rikara now got it in the backcourt. Okay, try one three, but now we're going back. Ten seconds. Can they get something for the pick and roll? There to go, but kicks out. Joe Peng made one. Makes another one. That's huge for China. And emotionally, that just keeps him in the game. And, and I like that, you know, giving Lee Kayar the ball, letting him be the playmaker, putting some shooting around him. Jovic getting a handoff. Down by Lee Kayar, gets caught between the defense, throws it away now. we got numbers here. Finds Joe Chi. Well, Joe Chi, what was he thinking? Well, you know, uh, I mean, part of that, not his fault. You know, he, he's looking to finish those plays, not make those plays. So probably was uh, giving the ball a little bit too early there. And another reason why that's a huge confidence blow, because we talk about China not getting enough points in transition. And you're right there, Zhang Jilin probably should hold on to it a little bit longer, feed the big man, but he can't, like, oh, has got to do something a little bit better than that. Danovich now, finds Belutinov. Belutinov in the lane, again, goes up, and he goes back to the charity stripe. Big man from Olympiacos, dominated right now. Yeah, you need to see a little more fight there on the weak side defenders. They had pulled in, so in theory that that roll shouldn't be there. It really should be the diagonal skip, but it's not able to navigate his way through those defenders. Well, the chance to extend this to an 18-point lead. Really make a name for himself here in the 2023 FIBA World Cup. A better way to do it is to represent one of the greatest countries in the history of world basketball under that coach. Slav Pesic. And the change coming into the game as Joe Chi will leave. So coming back into the game, number 14, Wang Zilin. He's a scored sign, does have quite a few turnovers. And you know, Wang Zilin, uh, his nickname is actually Baby Yao. So, you know, I spent two years in China coaching their professional league. And he's a very competent low post scorer. You know, I've been surprised at how passive he's been so far in this in this half. So maybe now uh, is this chance for him to step up and see them play through him off the low block a little bit. China trailing by 18 points. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Okay, one of their players who does have two three pointers and one this man, Wang Zilin. Has to go for another one. Steps out of bounds. Sutano over there for China. You can't fold the confidence. I mean, it's a good play. Dump it in the post, get it back on the perimeter. Yeah, I mean, I like it. Uh, you know, I, I think Wang, Wang Jilin could be a little more aggressive there. It doesn't necessarily have to kick it out immediately, but, but playing inside out is probably something for them to explore a little more. Well, the chance the end. Another round one, and Jovic is going to the free throw line. He's terrific, isn't he? The confidence on this man to put the ball on the floor, attack any defender. Yeah, I mean, that's what makes him so dynamic. I think China needs to uh, 
play him more as a driver initially. You know, if there's one thing missing from from his game, it's that consistent three-point shooting. He's certainly capable of making them, but with his athleticism and ability to put it on the floor, I think you want to start by, by containing him and, and then adjust if you have to. Oh, be future prospects. Maybe one day, in the face of Serbia Basel, but still relatively young. Did have to come off the back of an injury this season in the NBA. Makes a three-point play. Serbia now officially leading by 21 points. Finally, China getting something to drop in. I'll go back to the free throw line. And that's much better basketball from China. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, they had good floor balance there. Uh, Jari able to get downhill and uh, tough finish with the left hand there. 123 to go. Svetislav Pesic out for the timeout. Jari just kissed that one off the glass. Against Stefan Jovic. Well, let's go and listen momentarily to what Pesci has to say to his players. I move to Dunford. I move to Dunford. Last side. Last side. Outside. Outside. <laughs> Well, they can see Nikola Malutinov currently two steals, three rebounds, and nine points for the big man. But, you know, he is simply terrified when he tries to cement position in the low post. Uh, there's no question. And he's shown a little bit of everything. You know, we saw him on the mid range, we saw him in the low post, we saw him on the roll. So, you know, a, a, a really skilled big. You see it here, waiting for the double team to leave before spinning and finishing. But he's he's shown the complete repertoire so far in this half. He has been a key foundation this season with his club in Europe. But you know, right now it's all about his national team. And this Serbian team does have the chance to definitely. I mean, who knows? My expectations for them should be to shoot for the top four. And who knows from there? You can never predict in international basketball. We saw that in the Euro basket last summer. Anybody can take home the Naismith Trophy. Nice play there, Bogdanovich making it look way too easy. Great play coming out of the timeout, two side, I believe it was the call there. And a really good scissor action off the high post. One minute to go, 20 point lead to Serbia. These players now, whenever they get the ball, need to be ready. Nikaya got it by Jovic. Kicks out, good ball reverse. They're going to three in the corner. Rules up, but no good. You go for an offensive rebound. Serbia. The counterattack with Bogdanovic. Double team getting ready. Good hands by Luke Kayar. He's left wide open. Takes another three pointer. They're trying to survive this. Not as four seconds difference between game and shot clock. They're trying to dribble down for the last one. And now, baby, you to go in with it. He gets fouled. That's much better there. More aggression. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I think this is something they need to continue to go to. You know, Wang Xilin, obviously a, a very capable scorer, former NBA draft pick, has, has put up a lot of points in his career in the CBA. Uh, and he's somebody that they can't play through. He's somebody that can get the points off that uh, points off that block. Interesting to get here. Svetislav Patience going another timeout just as China are about to go shoot free throws. Tactics there or? Well, you know, he wants to have uh, have that play in and ready. Obviously, talk about them having the last shot of the game, uh, of the half. And I've always liked that, you know, put a little bit of a freeze on a free throw shooter. Uh, I, I think it's a great idea. 
Ako ga dadu, ovde je trojka. Ovde, ovde je dvojka. Gledaj ovde. Ovde i ovde. Ovde si ti. Ovde si ti. Kako ovi krenu. Well, coach, my Serbian is still at a very beginner stage, but I'm pretty sure I heard the word trojka, which in Serbian means three-pointer. So it's going to be interesting if they do go for a three-pointer at some point. Well, you know, uh, I couldn't get a great glimpse at the board, but it seemed like he was diagramming a full court play. So that would explain the timeout prior to the free throws, maybe trying to take advantage of China's pressure here. There are some highlights from China's Zhou Chi. Here's Joe Peng's penetration down the middle. Dish not fine. The big man, Wang Dong Southern Tigers finest. Been missed. Wang Zhuolin just needs to be more assertive of himself. Step up to the free throw lines and just make these shots. Makes the second one. Serbia, 17.9 seconds left here in the first half. And we'll see now what the final shot will be. Bogdanovic has the ball in his hands. Going up one screen. There's a the kick out. And Trace will tear drop and summon. It's way too oh, easy yeah. off the backboard. Trying to go for the long one and saw that it's no good. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first half, Serbia with a 21 point lead in their opening game against China of the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Well, China started off very positively, but again, they was a 5 for 5 change after four minutes. And since then, they've never really been able to get back in this. Yeah, that's true. You know, it seemed like they had found a, a combination at the end of the game that maybe could produce something for them. But uh, really, a large part of that half, they just seemed lost offensively, trying to find their identity. Lee Kaiar, especially, you know, zero points over five shooting. They got to figure out a way to get him involved. Well, there are the stats right now. Serbia 74% from within inside the rainbow, shooting 40 to 2% from the perimeter. Oh, okay. Just as many three pointers. That's a call. Both teams were equal on the rebounds. Serbia's assists. They have six of them, but seven skills from Serbia. Just goes to show China needs to take care of the basketball. Yeah, you know, their, their, their margins are very small, so obviously they, they've got to create possessions. You can't afford to give up any on offense rebounds. Well, Chung Jin Lin, their top scorer, but has been relatively quiet so far in the second quarter. Well, momentarily, we will take a look at some of the best plays from the first half and enjoy our mascots, the official mascot of the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. What's well, interesting, key players, zero points and zero rebounds by Lee Kaiar. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he just looked a little lost out there. I'm surprised offensively. They had him in the corner a lot, which is really not his game. Uh, I think they're going to have to put the ball in his hands, put a little bit of shooting around him, uh, let him be the playmaker that he is. Well, here are the top plays from the second quarter. Jao Ray hitting the first three-pointer for China. Well, that was their fifth tray ball of the game. It's too easy here for Gooderich. Too much time and space. Defensive intensity for the Chinese players. Almost like they're inviting Serbia to take any shot they want on the court. Yeah, you know, there was a defensive intensity that was lacking from China, uh, you know, surprisingly. Uh, you know, Serbia, like, Serbia obviously always going to be uh, playing at the highest of levels. Well, there was the backdoor play. Yeah. China at times have showed passages of good basketball. Now, it's, it's very easy for us to criticize but you know we have to remember they are up against one of the world's I mean ranked sick by night in international basketball well and you know it's a little bit of an adjustment for coach Georgievich so he's used to a Serbian national team that has multiple players who can score pass and are skilled you know China doesn't have that same number of dynamic players. He's going to have to go about it a different way, putting the ball in the hands of the few playmakers, finding a way to, to get easy baskets for some of their post players. Well, this is the era of Chinese basketball under that man, Zhou Qi. 
Vukovic kicked that one out. Right in Davidovats, wide open in the corner. Maybe a three-point shooting, but again, it's not just how good it's been. It's been the execution of how they build up high percentage looks. Yeah, and, and you know, let's give credit to Serbia. Uh, they have done an outstanding job of pushing tempo on every opportunity, and they share the ball. So when the defense rotates, they immediately are sharing it to the next guy, keeping the defense in rotation. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, Together we, we are, are stronger. stronger. No, no matter, matter your, your origin, origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. For halfway played here in the first quarter. Spotted Melly, Melly goes up and my goodness gracious! He killed Melly! Are you kidding me? Well, he just served up the help side defense. Here's Vucevic again. Count it! 27! And the Chicago Bulls star is right now the Montenegro star. Outside step up, pick and pop. Bounce pass. Oh, and Sidney. And going up, and Tadas with the foul. Also going to the line for an and one. So to Kerskis. I mean, fantastic zone attack. Great pass here from Bresdikas. And a fantastic finish. I know a lot of his uh, Orlando Magic fans are watching from home. In the late night as the feet oh. is disrupted. Kappa there. Weak side help. Really good. Josh Giddy goes in. Think he's got something cheap. Set up by Dennis Schroeder. Gutierrez to Stoll, now Paco Cruz over to Jaime. Oh, what a shot! What a play! And one! Jaime is showing some athleticism. This is a beautiful play here. Paco Cruz, great delivery, and like you said, Jeff, fantastic athletic finish. has been a factor in this third quarter. He is driving at will, getting to his spot. You need some help. Goes right at the defense, tough pass. Now Canada with a chance to run. Dort, who's just checked in. Oh, he's blocked by Matthews!
Welcome back to all of our Basel fans watching live on courtside 1891 here for the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup. Currently, Serbia here in Group B have a 21 point lead against China. I'm your commentator, Josh Bett, alongside head coach of the Austin Spurs, Will Void. Coach, how can we break down this first half, of course? I mean, we talked a lot about Serbia's, you know, the finesse and offense, but China's defense, I mean, how has it been so far? Yeah, you know, there's an intensity level that you have to bring, especially when you're playing, uh, you know, one of the favorites here in Serbia. I've been surprised that China's been slow to, to bring that intensity. They need to step up their ball pressure, but their offense has really been what's hurt them the most so far. And you talked about two seasons you were coaching in China's CBA. You know, you're very familiar with some of these players. You know, what is it that you'd expect here in the second half from players such as number 14, Wang Zerlin? to really be able to compete here with the Serbian defense? Well, I think the biggest thing is for, for them to figure out their identity as they move forward in the tournament. So, you know, clearly things have not been working well in that in that first half, but can they play out of the post a little bit more? Can they find ways to get Lee Kayar involved a little bit more? You know, that's what this second half is. They knew probably coming in that it would be a long shot to win the group, but that second place spot is up for grabs. And I think they'll use the second half maybe to experiment with a few things, see what sticks, and they can carry forward. Oh, speaking about Lee Kayar, you know, there is Joe Chi. 10 points so far, and every time they try to feed him the ball in the post, things do happen to them offensively, but how are the ways Lee Kayar can really make himself an offensive threat? Well, I think he's got to have the ball in his hands. You know, they've, they've been playing him as a corner wing, and, you know, shooting's not really his strength. But his size, ability to put it on the floor, I think that's that's where they need to be looking to use him a little bit more. Well, Serbia right now flying with confidence here at the moment. I mean, so, I don't really have that one dominant score. It's been so, evenly distributed. I mean, Nikola Milutinov, nine points. Philip Petrushev didn't need the game with an ankle injury. But even, you know, with their dominant lead right now, relatively quiet so far for Bogdan Bogdanovic. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't had to do much. Uh, they've done a great job sharing the ball, taking the opportunities that they've presented, uh, presented to them. And of course, she has 61% for the half. You know, everybody gets an opportunity to eat. Well, trying to get this one underway. And if you are watching this live, make sure that you subscribe to Courtside 1891. Also, download the official Field of Asa World Cup on your smartphone, Android, or tablet to get all the best new stats. Footage. That is too close. There's a QR code for the official the Basel World Cup app. Download it right now. Also exciting games we have seen so far. Remember, groups A and B will be here at the Adenet Arena. Italia, Philippines, Dominican Republic, and Angola, your former team that we saw yesterday. The one time they will play at the Philippine Arena, but they will cross over here with Group B. We have China, South Sudan, Serbia, and of course Puerto Rico. Some very competitive teams in these two groups. Yeah, you know, the games really have been uh, up until this point. I think uh, tomorrow is going to be more of the same. Lots of potential for upsets and see who can emerge in those top two spots. China will get the first possession here of the second half. So here with Stinkin Jovic, Bogdanovic, Nikola Jovic. Off. And it's already a quick turnover. He's in the contact, can't get him. Trying to come over the loose ball. Man down now, can they take advantage? It's just the offense so far from China. Jovic getting ahead, a good night. Look out for the fans back in Belgrade. That is Dobro Yeah, and you've got to be frustrated there. First play of the half, they were trying to get it to make KIR off a little zipper cut. Can't complete the pass. Penetration. Way to go here. Link got it by Bogdan Bogdanovic. John Ray now looking to isolate. It's over. Nice little penetration. That's Joe Chi. That's much better for the big man. Well, Joe Chi's had to get it himself. You know, a lot of his points have come off of offensive rebound putbacks. Joe Chi has been set to the time being. Now, Russell by the defenders, the post plays, the players such as Nikola Balutinov, and Stefan Jovic. The switch on defense makes it very tough for Joe Chi. Tough spinning around now, low baseline. End of the shot clock. Got it off the top. That's interesting. Look, he got it off the top. Definitely looked close. 
close there. China once again coming with the baseline trap on the, on the post. Just got it to him too late. Normally he's going to find those kickouts for him. Li Kaya playing point guard for the Chinese national team. Still scoreless here in this game. Two now, look for a handoff. Jovic heavily contesting this one. John Ray with three seconds down, has to get something. John Ray with 10 points, currently shooting three for four for the field. So he had the advantage. One more pass. Oh, the big bat. This is the matchup we want to see here. Spinning around, get it rejected, but they got to call a foul. And Chinese fans <laughs> infuriated with the decision. Just going up for Nikola Belutsinov. Well, coach, I'm going to ask you, what's your assumption on this one? Yeah, you can't get it. Oh, better. my Lord. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough call, especially with the way things have been going for China this game. Well, again, it's a beautiful post move. So you want to see that battle between Joe Chi and Nikola Belutsinov, but my fear for that is Joe Chi might be reluctant now to go for any more block shots. Well, you know, blocking shots is what he does, so I, I don't think this is going to deter him from that, but uh, you know, certainly you want to see consistency in how they're going to call it. If that's how it's going to be called, it's even more reason to go back at him on the other end of the floor. He's about making both free throws. And you're seeing Lee Kyar here now, the primary ball handler. I like that switch here between Coach Gorgevich. And he get his first field goal, straight hot score, goes out of bounds. And he possession back to Serbia. Currently it's 3-4 four four here in the third quarter. Something China's got to try and build some confidence on this game. Finding little victories within the third quarter. So his excellence right now just being exemplified by the very best. And he's going baseline, puts up the floater, and he'll go back to the free throw line. I really admire about Bogdan Bogdanovich, especially here in the international game. This guy just knows how to move so effectively without the ball in his hands. Yeah, no question about it. Uh, you know, China was switching one through four. He's able to find the matchup that he wanted, immediately recognized he had a quick disadvantage with Joe Fong. Drove baseline as soon as he got the ball. Bogdan Bogdanovich with the easy transition. It's so easy, of course, it's not always easy for a year league player, but he's such a dominant player playing for Fenerbahce. It's fair to say he's become a solidified role player for all the teams he's played for at the NBA, which, you know, is a huge accolade. Well, I mean, much more than a role player, he's, he's a legit starting shooting guard in the NBA, uh, and, and still, you know, has a lot of good years ahead of him. Putting Serbia up by 23 points. Now playing point guard now, coming up on ball school with Joe Chi. So he is preventing any post entry for the big man. And open takes it through itself, it's still scoreless, but nobody going in for offensive rebounds. Mission offense here for the Serbians. Jovic going up the ball school, kicks out to Jovic. He's got to feed Joe Chi now. Now he's got to make something happen here against Malutinov. This is on the quarter. Joe Payne pump fakes. And hangs in the air. Got the drop on it. Which comes up with it. Serbia looking to extend. Bogdanovich, quick three. Three is up. No good. Take a bit of a hot shot there, but they go right up and look for the third. Another three pointer. There's the lead tie out. Goes into the floater. Right now, nothing dropping for Lee Kaya. Yeah, I'm sure that's got to be frustrating for him, but I like seeing him more involved in this half. I like the adjustment of putting him on the ball, letting him touch it a little bit more. Hopefully he can find a rhythm that way. Good switch, ball moving. Three's up in the corner. Troika, 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 as they would say back in Serbia. Well, you knew it was coming, but Bogdanovic was wide open. Yeah, great ball movement there from Serbia. 
into this phrase back in Serbia. Trojka, and that's what this team wants to be renowned for. Three-point shooting, building up the confidence. Penetration, shot no good. Getting ahead, a good interception from China. That's the play for both these two teams. Chinese fans now a little bit. Sure, the Lee Kai, but no, Lee Kai are just trying to slow the tempo down there. Not trying to make this a slow game, but a triple change coming down from China. Yeah, same thing that we saw in the first half here with the wholesale changes pretty early in the quarter. Also coming out, so Joji and Mikhail, but defensively haven't been able to give anything here for Serbia. While for Serbia, they've also made a change, so Dusan Ristic coming into the game. Joe Payne's made two threes, left wide over, takes another one again, no problem with that one. Bring it back down to a 23 point ball game. And also coming into the game for China, Yong Shi, the young 20-year-old, really dynamic, interesting player. Uh, hopefully we'll see him uh, with the ball in his hands a little bit here. Just yeah, find Jovic, kicks this one out. Out of three in the corner, can't get it. This the offensive board. Oh, they saw a turnover now. Can China build something here? Zhu Lei kicking this one out. Takes so the mid range. Take <laughs> in, goes up with it. He may have got away with a push in the back there, coach. <laughs> well, it's good to see him active. You know, I thought he was much too passive in the first half. He's a guy that can definitely put points on the board for them. Uh, you know, so if, if he has to give a little nudge to get it, uh, I'd rather that than that he's just trotting back on defense. You know, when you were coaching in the Chinese Basketball Association, what was the first thing you thought when you saw this young man play? Well, you know, that's the thing. I mean, obviously, the nickname of Baby Yao uh, comes with a lot of pressure, but he was really difficult to guard in the low post. Uh, you know, really polished score, very physical. Uh, totally different player than what we've been seeing so far in this game. Of course, you know, the CBA, it's one of the top professional leagues in the east of Asia. But there's always a big transition when you go from playing three clubs in any league in the world, then, you know, your national team and going up against one of the greatest national teams in the world. No question. You know, let's not forget he's been, you know, matched up with Lutzenhoff and all these other great bigs the majority of this game. Certainly right now with the big league. Rich in the backcourt. The penetration bug goes up all the way up. Contested. It's off move by Bogdanovich. The four and a half in the third quarter. China's really by 25. It's a penetration. The rejection. Well, just said, get that one. I said that one into the photography section. Well, nothing comes easier in the Serbia paints, but what a block by Dusha Bristic. Yeah, Zhu Wei trying to make something happen there. And ran into a sea of bigs. A big play now for China. China trying to get something going. The post now comes up with this one. Old crowd one him to isolate. Bumping in the lane. Again, 24 second violation. Great defense by Serbia. Yeah, just a little little slow in making his move, but you know, I like the idea of going through the post. And you know, again, here we see Jadway trying to make something happen for his team. Under four minutes in the third. Which makes the pass goes in. Are you kidding me? Wow! Brate just went in the lane, faked the pass. Well, he came off the ball screen with Jovic, faked this one, and said, Dobro Došli, welcome to the FIBA World Cup. That's a tough, tough play, Havala. Thank you very much. Yeah, great play there, Ramovic still coming back to that strong left hand of his on the finish, but you know, normally a perimeter shooter showing that he can do a little bit of everything here. Well, China at the moment without Lee Kai R or Joe Chi in their backcourt, when well, the front court, excuse me. It's China very vulnerable underneath the basket. At the moment, Sasha Georgievich thinking how to prepare for the next games against South Sudan and Puerto Rico. Final has been 
called. This one, I believe, is going to be called against Goodrich. Well, no doubt he is one of the greatest players, well, and will be one of the greatest coaches in the history of Serbian basketball. You know, he's got a big job, of course, because China, last time they won the FIBA Asian Cup was in 2015, and that was against the Philippines. But since then, you know, the competition in FIBA Asia has become a lot higher. Yeah, no question. Uh, you know, we saw it yesterday, obviously, Gilas coming with a much improved and talented uh, team there. So, you know, China has a lot to lot to catch up on. Good to see some of these young players, though, on the floor now. You know, I mentioned Yongxi earlier. Uh, you know, there are some dynamic young guards coming through the ranks for China. Zhao Way finds him, one goes in, throws it down with a bit of authority. Well, that's a big time play, and the home crowd they appreciate those plays because remember, there's more games to play here in the group stage. Yeah, and hopefully that can wake him up a little bit, maybe inspire him to be aggressive here. Which goes in, tough layup off the backboard, showing the aggression. Now, now looking to give this one up. Each one. Now, running down. Lonzo Lin going all the way again. This time, doesn't get the eye ball, but as you mentioned, looking more aggressive. And this is something Sasha Georgievich is going to be expecting from him, as we mentioned, when they have to play South Sudan. And they also have to play against Puerto Rico, but a nice take to the bucket there. So look at this play. As they say in China, from Kaohsiung, Lenshini, nice to meet you. Wang Zilin has finally arrived to the party. Throws it down with a bit of authority. Chai Yo Chongguo. After that play, a little bit more life in his game. He's got to be somebody willing to step up and carry some of this load for this Chinese team. Like he said, finding little victories within the second half is going to be key for China. If they can't afford this to let this be a complete blowout or it knocks off their confidence because, as we saw today, Puerto Rico and South Sudan, they are two very, very good teams. Yeah, no question. Obviously, Serbia the favorites in the group, but I think a lot up for grabs in that second spot. Two-four point lead currently here to Serbia. Two way trying to be aggressive on defense. On damage from the step back. I'll get this one. by that Bogdanovich. So much protest from the Chinese players. Yeah, solid defensive possession there from China, and that's what they need, you know. Just trying as best they can to keep Serbia on the perimeter, not get into rotation. Uh, and, you know, once they get these stops, try to find some momentum offensively. Zhao Jiwei going to the free throw line. With Dusan Ustich at the five. Lovic at the four, Carl Gutebridge at the three. Yeah. Kovic checking against the game for the Soviets. Makes both free throws. Pass it now for China, 24 point deficit. Team foul again with 2.15 to go here in the third quarter. It's going to be a backcourt violation again. It starts with that man. Great job by Wang Zilin. Okay, you see, when he plays a little bit more aggressive, it all becomes a bit more positive for China. Yeah, no question. And that's the fight and energy that, that they need to bring. You know, not just this game, but every game. Every possession in this World Cup is a big one. Wei Yongxi will inbound this for China. And up here, Hu. He goes for a step back. Three points up. That's way off the mark. Wang in with the offensive board. Spinning around, nowhere to go. Spins it over in the end. So we have numbers. Goes over the reverse level. Foul has been pulled. So two free throws coming up for the Serbians. 
frustrating turnover there, but again, I like I like to see Jilin's aggression. You know, I mean, obviously he's disappointed in the result there, but he has to be willing to step forward. I'm trying to avoid the block shot, didn't get the right handle on it. On China call timeout is Sasha Georgievich. He wants to talk it over with his players. Lord Dragic is a hell of a final in Istanbul, but in the end it was Slovenia who took the championship. <laughs> Serbia fans coming into the building. Yeah, you just gotta love the culture and the history of this country. So much dates back to, of course, the former Yugoslavia, some of the greats. Ali Dibax, not to mention. Dejan Bodorovic, that's a big name for you too. I mean, the, the basketball history there is amazing. And, and when you think of the former Yugoslavia as a whole, it's just incredible the amount of talent that's come out of that area. Slava Mesic, the coach of Yugoslavia, the former Yugoslavia. FIBA World Championship in Indianapolis back in 2002, defeating Manu Ginobili in Argentina. Defeating the United States in the quarterfinals. Reggie Miller was playing in that game. Coming off one screen, finds Gooderich. Trying to be aggressive now, two seconds. Well, Brownwich just going straight to the bucket. And the outside defense, nowhere to be seen from China. Yeah, Wang Chinlin caught up a little high there. Uh, not able to keep the ball handler in front of him. Yeah, to go here in the game for China. Joe Chi come back in the game at this point. Oh, oh, oh. now. Oh, a 24 second violation. So, idea, but again, he couldn't catch the pass. Yeah, China needs to see that sooner. So, you know, Serbia switching one through five. They got Wang Jinlin on the matchup they want, but they're playing on the other side of the floor. You can even hear Coach Georgievich yelling at his point guard, other side, other side. So, they have to be aware of where their advantages are and get to them quicker. Seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. He could extend this to a 30 point lead. Listic can't do that with the three. He does that. We got time. One more. Serbia are lighted up for the perimeter in this game. Three point shooting. That is a seventh three point field goal out of 18. Ristich, the University of Arizona player, showing his ability to step out and knock it down. Way. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the third quarter, his team currently trailing by 30 points to his former team. He's got a lot to think 
Davidov, but as we can see right now, he's got to stop thinking all the ways to get ready for Puerto Rico and South Sudan. Yeah, no question, he's going to be mindful of minutes uh, into this fourth quarter, but he's got to find a rhythm somehow. Off of Svetislav Pesic. That's yours. Maybe reenact the history that he made in 2002 with the former Yugoslavia, one of the greatest coaches in the history of world basketball. We'll take a look at the stats right now. China did hit one three-pointer in the third quarter with Joe Peng. But so far, Serbia shoots 17 for 18, 19 field goals with inside the rainbow, 18 for 20 from the free throw line. Yeah, I mean, those percentages obviously uh, speak to the quality of players, but also the Chinese defense not up, up to par. Well, that was the only transition play by Nikolajovic. Drafted by the Miami Heat, recovered from a lot of injuries this season. Oh. He is head coach Eric Spolster at some point here in the FIBA World Cup. But now he's positive basketball there from China. We just haven't seen that enough. Zhao Ray, probably their best backcourt player. Uh, Bobby Bogdanovic. That was the one three-point field goal from Joe Peng. But, you know, their captain, Joe Peng, there's a lot he can offer for this national team. Times we've seen him really have to put the ball on the floor and create his own shot. You know, China needs to believe in themselves. At times, you can see, you can really identify the lack of confidence. Yeah, no question. And, you know, that's been their issue on, on the big stage. So, as I mentioned earlier, they got the shooting. They need the players who are able to create the shots for them. Both side, 1891. Get all the best stream schedules and scores by downloading the app. Use that QR code that you just saw. Again, the official FIBA platform for all international basketball. And at the moment, only showing you the 19th edition of World Basketball's highest competition, the FIBA World Cup, hosting Philippines, Indonesia, and Japan. Bogdanovich, I don't think we'll see him come back in the game at any point because, you know, at this point, the you know, Chinese fans trying to rally behind their players. The result is always going to be inevitable here in the Quarter, but finding ways to improve for both these two teams should be the key factor in the fourth. Some Serbia with Mikovic, another fourth contribution, Ristic, Mikovic, Mikovic. The defense by China, but can he capitalize? Another Troika. Well, coach, it is Troika time here for the Serbians. They are firing from all cylinders. One point lead to Serbia. Tomari trying to split the defense, goes in and slices them up. Left handed layup. That's much better for Jao Ray. They maybe have found something here with that little weave into Spanish pick and roll action the last two times down the floor. Quality looks fine. It's trying to orchestrate something. It just kicks out of the table. Officials were wide open, but maybe just put a little bit too much on that one. Well, he, he was feeling good from those last uh, two threes. A little, little too much mustard on that pass. Sideline ball to China. Chinese fans making their voices heard, saying, Jai Yo, Chong Guo, which means, come on, China. You gotta love the support that these Chinese fans always give to their national team. Where to go now? Three seconds. Zhao Chi Wei's gotta find something. Goes behind the back. Step back. In range. I get it. Build up ways. Jerry goes up. And again, beautiful give and go. Very positive here from China. Yeah, you know, I really like this group. Playing with some confidence, playing with some energy. Uh, let's see if they can sustain it here. That's a 
Obviously, the double triumph of Van Serbia from getting many good looks. This has been good going to his left. This is just made two. Makes it three, Troy Goods. Havala, he is on fire right now. Ristich is just cooking it. Well, he is cooking Troikas. And a two three from China. <laughs> well, he's doing the same thing, but this is good for his game, but he starts to build into the next ones against Puerto Rico and South Sudan. Yeah, and you're seeing these young Chinese playmakers uh, step up a little more confidence right here. Just took that one out. That's a good defensive play. Chinese young team. Another three in the corner, four is up, and three is good. And this is what Sasha Georgievich wants to see from his young players. Yeah, Young Shi coming in, the young 20-year-old, not afraid of the moment, knocking down that corner three there. Oh, wide open, another three, another Troika. That has been the outcome so far. Serbia just punishing. Make that Troika number 10, 10 out of 22. It is raining threes right now here for Serbia. Well, timeout has been called. Still a 27 point ball game here for Serbia. Well, let's go on this now to Sasha Georgievic. In the moment, he has to stop Serbia's Troikas. They are firing from all cylinders. You have to go and play late switch. We should play late switch. Right? right? Okay, I, now we're listening up. Just keep playing. I want to play. Jiray, you get the ball. Ray, you come. Inside shot. Inside shot. Oh, Zui. Zui. Troy. Be close. Be close. Don't be far away. Order to Troy. Make a good pick here. Good pick and slip. Then slip. Okay? That's it. Don't this. Nothing. Keep on playing. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. Use your feet. Use some fouls. Use some fouls. Use some fouls. Use some fouls. Chowry going in the lane, looking like a very strong point guard here at the moment. But again, he sliced up the defense. This is positive to give and go. You know, the one concerning point about China, okay, the fact you can't argue how great Serbia, but they have 12 more fast break points with 31 more bench points than China. Yeah, you know, that speaks to the quality of Serbia. They can come off the bench with a lot of high-level players. Trying to be very aggressive here on defense. You know, China, you know, it's, a, it's a step by step process for China because one thing they've got to get themselves back to be the top country in the FIBA Asia Cup. As we mentioned, something they've dominated for so long. But to compete at this level here at the FIBA World Cup, this is the kind of caliber they have to play against. There's the alley oop, <laughs> almost connected with it. Yeah, that's a nice play there. Uh, just couldn't finish on the, on the pass, but uh, this group able to execute, playing with some confidence right now. It's a performance, but I think for them, a possible beacon is Serbia's search from the perimeter. This just has the rhythm at the moment. Nice give and go, good pass, and the China come up with a steal. She's way down the middle. She now goes in, finishes that one, that's much better. So a 25 point deficit. China playing with a bit of spirit here in the fourth. Yeah, and that group really showing some great chemistry, moving the ball, playing with energy on both ends. They're choosing the ball screen. The way almost took. So they come up with it. Anakovic, that's a good foul pull. It will be a baseline ball to Serbia. there both the young playmakers uh, I think really doing a great job you've got you know Kwai Yong Ji also not afraid of the moment showing what the future of Chinese basketball can look like well Lee Kai are coming back in remember he's still scoreless in this game a quick inbound three-pointer 
Good hands by, I was gonna say good hands, but Lee Kaya's gonna be called for the foul. So two free throws coming up here for Serbia. And he cannot find his way to this game. Immediately takes the floor, gives up an offensive rebound and a foul. Just gets a free throw to drop in for Samanich. Clubs in Serbian basketball. Obviously, we've talked about the likes of Partizan and Savena Zvezda. Mega Baskets, Bordax, another one. Another club in Ethic, Bujalesnik, some of the key clubs that really have done a good job over the years of developing some of the great Serbian talents. Because it's all about culture. You can't change that overnight. China has a lot of excellence in the CBA. Look at that, look at that. You just have to keep on trying to find the formula that aren't developing great basketball players. Yeah, and you know, I think the big thing. The, the training methods in China are much more drill oriented. And some of what's lacking is the creativity and playmaking that you see in some of the other countries. So as some of these young guards get these opportunities, I think it's really going to help them. Nice little transition there from Serbia, coming off the back of a turnover, but converting it to a good transition points. Kaios still looking for that first field goal here in his World Cup debut. This one. This is, this is a layup. 26 points of deficit. China will cut it down to 20 points before the end. That would be a huge plus to them. Something to take away from this game to have for both South Sudan and Puerto Rico. So it gets blocked. <laughs> Not in my house. Now Dobridge. He's in the lane. He's going to have one, but he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. Yeah, transition defense still an issue. Something they're going to have to sort out after this game. Just really a big lack of floor balance. Oftentimes you're seeing two, three Serbian players down the court with no Chinese defenders in sight. Also interesting here, coaches come back with the Kyar at the four, something that they haven't explored yet. This could be interesting uh, to see if he wants to go with that moving forward. Making the first free throw. He's really enjoyed coming off the bench in this game and just going to that pick and pop with three three pointers. It's been relatively a good night for him. Well, and, you know, he he's potentially going to be important for them. You know, we don't know the severity of uh, Petrusev's injury, but uh, if he's going to be missing some time, they're going to need Ristich to step up like this. 27 points of difference. China's spirit here in the fourth quarter, giving their fans a little bit of hope. has been key so far in the fourth quarter. Ukayar trying to win it around. Get anything on this one. Rebound secured. Well, it's also very important for Serbia here to pick up any injuries. You know, when you are leading by so much, something can obviously happen. Not to mention, don't know how good Petrusha is going to be. He's just getting the offensive rebound. He's going to leak out. He pushed something here. Up to John G. Ray. He goes for a quick three pointer. That's no good. So we're just waiting for this game to be over, as are China. Much done and dusted. 27 points of difference. Ristich, three Troikas. Make it four. Troika time. And again, the Serbian fans say, Havala Brate Ristic. He has been on fire tonight. Ristich just letting everybody else in the group know that he means business as he goes to the bench. Well, we need to call him the Troika man. Well, interesting. There we Sorry to interrupt, but interesting here. Uh, you know, Ristich obviously uh, feeling pretty good on the pick and pop situations. You've got the game kind of in the box at this point, but Serbia coming back with Lutinov to finish it up. So, curious substitution there. Well, he all knows too well, Sasha Georgievich. Turn over here for China. We're going to push this one. Kovic. Nikola Tutinov. Push down the middle. Gets fouled hard. He's going to the free throw line with 226. 30 point lead to Serbia. 
Of course, we've seen Puerto Rico and South Sudan play today as well. Looking at those two teams, where do you think they are going to have it? Maybe, maybe a slight advantage of competing against Serbia. Because, you know, we always talk about the great Serbia. You know, the, you know the, everybody has predicted them to be top of the group. But let's not forget Puerto Rico and South Sudan are good teams. What advantage could they have against Serbia? Well, you know, one of the things we haven't seen China explore a whole lot is attacking in transition. So both of those teams able to push. Both teams having dynamic scoring point guards. So they can give a different look than what, what China can. Uh, but there's a reason why Serbia is very good. Uh, they've seen a lot in their preparation game, certainly ready to handle anything that Puerto Rico or South Sudan can throw at them. 220 to go. China's definitely going to have to look back up some parts of this game. Put a line under. Not much time to prepare for the next one. So they're trying to isolate. Another three pointers. Way off the mark. Rebound secured. So no point taking their foot off the gas. Bobats coming off the back screen. Samanich. Ravage coming off one screen. Time winding down. Marinkovic puts up a three point again. And in his face. Would you ever doubt a Troika from Serbia? I don't think so. This team fly with confidence. 12 three pointers in the game. I mean, coach, the rim has turned into the ocean. Well, you know, they've got a lot of quality players that they can come into the game with. All of them capable of knocking down threes. Uh, you know, obviously that, that degree of difficulty uh, on that last one was pretty high, but I don't think we can be surprised when we see them knocking down shots. Well, 20 for 30 from within inside the rainbow. 12 Troikas, as we mentioned, for Serbia. It's fair to say that it's just been a display of excellence. You know, currently ranked sixth place in the world, but you know, those rankings are good, but when you get into FIBA World Cups, it becomes anybody's ball game at that point. And Cameron is one of the greatest coaches in the history of World Basketball. Slap, patience. And you know, interesting, uh, Serbia's been going through some one through five switching there. Maybe that's the reason for getting Wellington up back into the game, giving them a few reps there so that they're prepared for what they might want to do in their next game. It's not getting the seal off here on the post. Physical between the Chinese defense and Malutinov. At this point, these two teams just need to finish this game out here, make sure things don't get a little bit too excited. That's the fourth team foul against China. So we get this ball in their backcourt. Back Ramovich. The ball screen from Malutinov. Little back to a play, and he's a little finish there. The time was sublime. Yeah, that's a great look there from Abramovich. Six seconds on the shot clock for China, intercepted by the girl of Malutinov. Which kicks out Marinkovic. Another Troika, probably the final Troika of the game. And now it's officially the Troika that makes it a 40-point ball game. Well, China started the fourth quarter with confidence, spirit to play. But it's just fair to say that they're up against one of the greatest teams in the world. And a turnover. Oh, that's going to be cool. That's going to be two free throws coming up for Surabia. You got to think as well, when the groups are finished and they do the crossover, it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, teams like Serbia, who will they match up with, Dominican Republic possibly, maybe Italy, we never know, Angola, Philippines, that crossover is going to be very exciting. Yeah, no, that's what makes the World Cup so fun. Lots of different styles of play, different star players from each team, so you've got to be prepared to play in different ways match to match. Davidovac currently at the free throw line. Again, the key thing for China, they got to find ways to get him involved when speaking about Lee Kai R. Yeah, I think that's got to be maybe their biggest concern coming out of this. They never really found that solution 
to make Lee Kyar feel comfortable within their offense, be able to utilize what he can do for them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we do thank you for joining us here at the Adonets Arena to all of our Serbian fans watching back home. It will be Lakunaj, but again, 25 years ago, the former Yugoslavia won the FIBA World Cup. Who is in the corner, but at the end of this one, Serbia wins 105 to 63 against China. Sasha Georgievich, the former coach of Serbia, shakes hands with Svetislav Pesic. Both coaches on the back end of two different results now. A lot to think about going into the next game. But it's going to be interesting to see how China matches up against Puerto Rico and South Sudan. Yeah, you know, obviously the 21 turnovers from uh, tonight is something that they're going to have to clean up. You know, both Puerto Rico and South Sudan will, will be pressuring and also trying to force turnovers in the transition defense. So Puerto Rico, South Sudan are also going to be looking to run. That's got to be an area of concern for Coach Georgevich. Well, Boggy Bogdanovich of the Atlanta Hawks. Played many times against Lee Kyar in the NBA when he's playing for the Minnesota Timberwolves. But yet again, Bogdanovich, now victorious here against China. Serbia's first game done and dusted. The Brate, the Brotherhood as they call it. The expectations were always high for a Serbian national team. Basketball, they say, in Serbia. It's so passionate back in that country. Nikola Balutinov had a fantastic this season this year with Olympiakos in Greece, but now becoming the go-to center for the Serbian national team. And you gotta love that. We've had a lot of fans from Serbia, of course a lot more fans from China here in this arena, but the support has been fantastic. Yeah, I mean, fans willing to travel the globe to support their teams in these events. Always one of the funnest things from, a, from my perspective of coaching in these events, seeing that passion that the fans bring to these national teams. Seven free throws, but you know, Serbia's three point shooting was phenomenal here. 13 for 28. Both teams relatively equal on the rebounds, but the assists. Serbia making it look so easy with 30 assists. And also had 14 steals. Well, he's going to be a very happy man tonight. <laughs> I think he will be. And you know, the 30 assists is going to have Coach Pesic also a happy man. Well, there you can see Jao lead the scores for China with 17. Momentarily, now we're going to look at the best plays here for the fourth quarter. John Ray getting in the defense. China experienced a play at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Gave them a little bit of belief, but you know, unfortunately and emotionally, they were just done at that point. Yeah, you know, I liked what that young group did at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Played with a little bit of chemistry and confidence. You know, maybe that's a unit that Coach uh, Georgevich can come back to in these upcoming games. You know, being a coach at the Olympics with Nigeria in 2016 and with Angola at the 2019 FIBA World Cup, and you know what it's like when you play these very tough teams. What is the message for you as a coach that you give to your players? Well, you know, every possession, every quarter, every game is important. So you really can't dwell on this too much. You want to take the lessons that you can learn that will apply to your next games moving forward. But you don't want to beat yourself up. They're going to have to flush this loss, not worry about the 40-point spread, but really figure out that transition defense, really figure out how they're going to get Lee Kayar involved. You know, could it be a bit of a concern for Serbia having such a, you know, relatively easy game from their perspective, knowing that, you know, the other two opponents, maybe the crossings, could be quite a challenge in this great business. Well, you know, you think back to, to the last World Cup, and that maybe was the issue for them. You know, a very talented Serbia team that kind of cruised along until they ran into their first tight match. So, you know, I think you don't want to intentionally play tight games if you don't have to, but at the same time, you need to be prepared once you get into those quarterfinals and beyond where you know those games are going to be challenging. Well, it's all wrapped up here tonight. Serbia getting their first victory. Phenomenal performance from Nikola Milutinov, also from Bogdan Bogdanovic, but Dusan Ristic as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is your final score. South Sudan losing today to Puerto Rico. Serbia with the first victory. Serbia will top the group due to the points differential. To all of our fans in China, it is simply Tsai Tien and Wan Shan Hao. Good night. And to all of our fans in Serbia, the Virginia and Lakunoc. We'll see you soon. We'll see you tomorrow for more games here at the Adanet Arena.